Hello, welcome to this video. Let's see all the advanced features included inside the Pro version of VSDC Video Editor. In our previous beginner tutorial, we have covered the basics of this amazing video editor on its free version. But VSDC Pro comes with advanced features to go professional and make your editing easier. In this video, we're going to cover all its professional features in detail. If you do not know how to use VSDC, please take a look at our beginner tutorial. First of all, VSDC Pro includes a much faster and high-quality preview of the timeline content, using all your hardware power to provide the best instant rendering and the maximum acceleration while working with a deeper subpixel resolution on visual transformations and editing. This great quality and precision is not included in the free version. VSDC Pro also includes powerful tools to add voiceovers to your videos. In the free version, you can open the VSDC free audio voice recorder by going to Tools and then to Voice Recorder. This standalone page has everything to start recording your voice. Select the audio format above, where to save the recording, and its basic audio profile to use. Then just use the record button at the bottom to start recording with your microphone. Creating files that you can import into your VSDC project later to sync things manually with your videos. Whereas the Pro version includes a more professional interface to realize voiceovers, making the sync between voice and videos much more simple and fast. To open it, just go to the Editor tab and then to More Tools VoiceOver. With this interface, you can record your voice while looking at the video preview live, helping a lot with the correct timing and avoiding a manual and long post-processing required to sync voice and videos. First of all, use Start Recording to enable your microphone and then play back the preview to start recording. Whenever you pause or stop the visual preview, the voice recording also stops, keeping the two in line and synchronized. Once you finish with Stop Recording, you can decide either to start with a new recording or come back to your project by closing the window. These recordings just made will be put exactly at the same points of the preview put in playback ready to use and with paused and resume parts all joined together in time on a unique clip. Remember that you can set device and recording options for this interface by going to Options, Audio Recording Options. Another great feature inside VSDC Pro is the Audio Waveform Spectrum available directly on all audio clips on the timeline. If you do not see these, just click on the waveform icon on the left and go to Show Waveform. These allow you to check the volume level on each stereo channel through time. Another powerful feature is the masking tool, which is the technique used to limit visual effects applied on a clip within a defined and limited region. Let's suppose you want to apply any effect to a visual clip. With this selected, go to Video Effects and apply any filter. Adjusting its settings from the Properties window on the right. At this point, if you open the effect itself on the timeline by double-clicking on it and add any vector object inside it, you will be able to apply a mask on such effect. For example, if you add any rectangle, ellipse, or even any piece of text, only the area outside these will be affected by the visual effect. This way you can apply several vector objects to create complex masks as you need. With the vector object selected, you can go to the Properties window and select Mask under Composition Mode to adjust the masking effect, such as its opacity level or masking strength, 
or get the same region inverted. VSDC Pro also includes animations tools to move objects through time and make motion tracking, such as objects or masks tracking specific parts of the preview content. Let's suppose you want to move the same mask object just made through time. Just open the vector layer interested on the timeline, go to Add Object on top, and then to Movement. This new layer sets the object position through time by using markers called keyframes. Each keyframe saves the object position in the instant of time it is placed. This way, the overall list of keyframes sets the motion of the object or the mask in time, following the path we want or tracking what we want to cover through the several positions saved. With the current keyframe selected, define the starting position for the object and then move the timeline cursor on the second instant of time. Enable movement again and define the new object position for the second keyframe. The sequence of these keyframes creates a motion between the first and the second position represented by an arrow on the preview. The same distance between the two adjacent keyframes fixes the speed of the single motion between the two. Indeed, the most powerful feature inside VSDC Pro is the automatic motion tracking, realized with movement maps instead of manual keyframes just seen. Let's suppose to add a piece of text tracking an object inside this media clip. First of all, you have to analyze it to create a movement map, such as a saved file used to track any interested region through time. Just right-click on the media clip and go to Create Movement Map, specifying where to save the file. On the new Motion Tracker page, move and resize the red area on the preview to define and fully contain the region to track through time. Then, just go to Start Analysis and let VSDC define time by time the movement map of such region automatically, represented through a green envelope curve on the preview and a green region right below the timeline. This region can also be reshaped, but consider that any red region stops the movement immediately. Once the movement is saved, just go to Apply Editing to come back to the main editor. At this point, you can attach this movement map file to any vector object, text, or mask in order to track the object chosen through time. For example, let's add any piece of text tracking the chosen object. Once you apply such text layer, open it and go to Add Object, Movement, Movement Map to browse for the movement map just made. This will be added as a new layer with the tracked movement ready in place and applied. In order to fit the object movements and timings, make sure to sync the piece of text with the media clip used to generate the movement map. You can always move the vector object elsewhere if you want to apply any distance between this and the object track. An ultimate feature inside VSDC Pro is the chroma key used to make chosen colors of the visual content completely transparent, such as the most common green screen, but also other colors different than the classic green. Select the interested clip and apply the background remover effect under Video Effects Transparency. By default, VSDC takes the green color used for the most common green screens, but you can use the eyedropper next to the chroma key color 
to pick the correct color from any point of the preview. The green color present on the visual clip may not be the same anywhere. Residual green contours may remain, but they can be removed by adjusting the several thresholds under chroma key color. You can also switch adaptive alpha from false to true to gain more precision. The background obtained is indeed a full transparent background ready to be filled with other visual content. If you return to the main scene, you can apply any visual content right below the interested clip to fill its background. VSDC Pro is able to remove any background color which is not green in order to maximize your possibilities. Last but not least, VSDC Pro includes advanced tools against video shakiness inside tools, video stabilization. On the new window, use open files to pick the footage to enhance and then stabilize it with all the options on top, which include shakiness reduction, smoothing, accuracy level, and maximum motion shift. These all compose one of the most precise video stabilization tools available across video editing products. Once the setup is OK, you can render the footage by choosing the correct video format to use under Formats and specifying template and profiles at the bottom. Make sure to use the same video settings that your project or final video expect. This is all from VSDC Video Editor Pro. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Feel free to check our YouTube channel for more free content.